Kourou, French Guiana. Just a few kilometers away from the Ariane 5 and Vega launch pads, the footprint of the future Ariane 6 launch zone is clearly visible. In the Guyanese forest along the Atlantic coast, one can track the shape and the progression of the work that has already been done. It's an indication that Ariane 6 is now more than a project. It is becoming a reality. The decision to develop and build this new generation launcher was taken at the ESA Council Ministerial Conference in 2014. And now things are moving forward at the European spaceport. We don't wait uh, for all the decisions to be taken. We have to work. And you know that one of the ambitions of this program is to have the launcher Ariane 6 available in 2020, which is only a few years. So we have to do a complete development project to be ready for a first launch in 2020. Ariane 6 will be a three-stage launcher. The first stage will be using strap-on boosters based on solid propulsion, while the second and third stage will be using cryogenic liquid oxygen and hydrogen propulsion. The modular architecture of Ariane 6 offers ESA the option to use two or four boosters, depending on the required performance. These boosters will be of the same type as used on the Vega C, an evolution of the current Vega launcher. The IN6 will reduce the cost of, uh, of a launch service by 50% compared to today. So you have to realize that in, in just four years, we are reducing the cost of a launch service in Europe with 50%. And that is, of course, in a major step. And if you think about IN6 in a double, double launch configuration, we are able to offer a price which is really, really attractive, also in comparison with the, comp the competition. The Ariane 6 launcher should allow Europe to prepare for the future and maintain its leadership in the fast-changing commercial launch service market. Meanwhile, Ariane 6 also offers a response to the needs of institutional European missions. ESA and the industry share the responsibility, costs and risks associated with the Ariane 6 program. The intention is to provide guaranteed access to space for Europe at a competitive price, but this time without requiring public sector support for exploitation. Our objective to have in Europe an independent access to space is a key uh, political item. It's a political objective. It's very clear that this is number one of all the, the lists of objectives that you can see when you speak with, uh, with our ministers. But that objective, to achieve that objective and to do it uh, against, uh, let me say, acceptable conditions, you also need a commercial market. Europe needs also the, the, the commercial market, and that's why we combine the two things. This summer will be a busy time at ESA and in the industry, as the finalization of the first step of the program is well underway, with preliminary launcher designs and the procurement of the infrastructure. In September, ESA will report back to its member states for the final decision on continuing with Ariane 6.